Hello everyone, I hope you're very well. Am I in frame? Yes. Um, so today I want to talk to about a topic that I've been wanting not to talk but I've been wanting to make a video about it since basically the start of my YouTube channel and even in my blog uh, but I never felt quite comfortable about it and I don't think I am comfortable even now but I thought I'll just get over it with and it is how do I go oh you can go to the toilet while leaving and traveling in a van and by toilet I mean number one and number two and uh, yes the reason why I haven't done this yet although it's been highly requested is that first of all it's not a particularly pleasant topic to talk about and I don't necessarily feel comfortable talking about it I haven't breathed been brought up talking openly about you know toilet and bowel movements so it feels very weird to put my face and talk about this kind of uh, subject and secondly I always wanted to kind of make a video with actual footage of where you can find toilets or uh, you know in cities and or in um, in the wilderness I mean not that there are toilets in the wilderness but you know spots uh, in the wilderness where you can do your things not actually show you so showing you the actual activity but you know uh, showing you a place or like you understood what I mean you see I'm gonna be very weird and you'll see I'll be awkward in this video so bear with me bear with me um, but yes um, so I'm gonna talk about places in urban areas and places in uh, wild areas mainly and before I start if you speak French there's a really really brilliant video online on YouTube by a guy called Joe Hatsu Hello. Uh, which I actually met in France and he did a video about toilets and actually that was one of the reasons why I procrastinated making this video a lot because what he says in this video is like it's very on point which is basically if your only reason not to embark in the adventure of your life is that you need someone to tell you where to pee and to poop, then think about what is it that really is stopping you for your adventure. Because it's true, like any time that you're out and about running your errands or hiking or you know, any time that you're outside of your house, you always find a way to do your things yeah basically his video summarizes this and it's really really good and it's really well shot so if you speak uh, French or you understand a little bit of it then I'll um, link it down below but without further ado I'm gonna list some of the places where you can go for pee and poops and for me um, peeing is not really an issue it's not really an issue because you know there's bottles and for us ladies there are funnels so what I use is like a funnel that goes inside a glass bottle actually I prefer glass because it doesn't stink not that I leave it there for a very long time usually you know I do it and then I throw it away uh, but glass I, I think it's a little bit more hygienic in a way so you know I do my thing there then I clean my funnel up with a wipe and uh, I throw away the pee wherever it's suitable so not right on the street not in front of somebody somebody's house you surely use your common sense for uh, disposing of your own urine urine is really good for plants um, there's people that do collect their own urine and put it in plants because uh, it's it's a good fertilizer so you know if you find a little patch of land and uh, you're away from houses you're away from like people looking at you then you can uh, dispose of it there um, uh, having a bottle is also good for you know night emergencies because if you're in the middle of a city or you know somewhere where there's houses around you don't want to pop out and like pee next to your van unless you're of course in the wilderness so a bottle is like a good safety uh, safety it's it's a good option to have in the van even if you're not gonna use it very often so yeah weeing is like easy and if you're a man gosh you don't even have to worry about it basically um, but about number two which are the most how to say that uh, frustrating maybe points of van life it is is it frustrating no like problematic things I would say um, in urban areas it's so easy it's so easy think about if you were to go uh, shopping as I said before or if you went for coffee or if you went you know for exploring a city then 
you would know where to go you would go to a cafe you would go to a restaurant if you want to go for food you would go to what well, they are right here to a mall uh, to public toilets there are some countries have more public toilets than other countries if you're in a touristic area then they're probably gonna be public toilets and public toilets are generally quite dirty unless you're in Germany uh, so public toilets is an option although maybe not my favorite one uh, libraries so that you don't have to consume anything you can just go in if they ask you if you have like a, how do you say that a membership to the library sometimes that happens just say you know you need to use the toilet they're not gonna say no um, and yeah that's pretty much my list uh, there's probably a thousand more that you can think of uh, even swimming pool if you want to go for a swim a shower and you can also use the toilet obviously this um, you can do this in office hours so when shops and bars and cafes are open so it's not always suitable if you do have an emergency and there's nothing around you that's open public toilets are probably gonna be open but sometimes they close them at like 8 to 7 p.m. Uh, there will be the emergency solution which I'll talk about later don't worry and if you are in the wilderness then again it should be easy it should be easy if you are in a if there are no people around and if there are trees around um, because obviously you don't want to be doing your thing in like the open fields even if there's nobody you never know if, if somebody's gonna uh, pop up uh, when you're you know in the middle of something uh, but yes yeah, so if you ever been for a camping trip of more than one day then you probably know how uh, to do this you would have a, a little shovel that it's in front so I can't really show you uh, it's clean don't worry <laughs> you would have a little shovel to make a hole in the ground I think 30 centimeters deep is that a lot is uh, suggested but I'll, I'll check that uh, I do it by eye so I don't know you know I don't have like a rule to check how big is the hole um, but yeah and you do your uh, business in it and then you bury it there's um, guidelines on how to do that so for example you shouldn't poop poop oh saying that loud on YouTube great you shouldn't do your number two uh, next to water I think you have to leave 150 meters um, uh, from any sources of uh, water but I leave down uh, the guidelines of um, what's suggested that you would do and what you need to follow really uh, obviously be sensible of it that like if you're close to a farm or if you're close to a park and then don't put just there I mean it would be buried and everything but you know there's dogs that really like human poop so if you park next to a parking it's like a place where dog walkers come then they might just come and dig it out so just be sensible about it and as for the toilet paper don't use baby wipes only use uh, biodegradable toilet paper which is basically most toilet paper around uh, is degradable uh, but put it in the hole put it in the hole there's like <sighs> this really drives me mad when I go somewhere and people well people that don't put the paper in the hole is probably people that don't even bother doing the hole so that's a whole another story but yeah put the paper in the hole or burn it uh, obviously if you're not in an area where you can't burn things but yeah burning it is probably the best option because it doesn't leave any traces but again be careful about it don't just listen to me uh, look at your environment your surroundings and do your research before you know read the guidelines um, and yes about people uh, pooping without even caring that drives me insane where I go on a touristy place or maybe a place that's uh, fre frequented where there's a lot of passage with vans and people stay in the vans and a lot of people I think it's the people that don't live in it full full time that don't care uh, or the people that are like there just for a day where they think oh it's just once you know I just need to go and they don't even think and they don't they don't prepare for it so of course when nature calls and you really need to go then you're gonna go anywhere whether you have a hole or not so make sure that you bring with you your shovel that you know where you can do it and they you just don't you know um put your human excrement wherever it suits you and then just leave because that is disgusting it's bad for the environment uh and the you you think that in a few days it's gonna be gone but no the paper if it's not buried if it's in the open air if maybe there's not a lot of rainfall it's gonna stay there for a while 
and the last thing you want is for people that are like locals to see that and then you know forbid people from coming there or like from vans to um you know, uh, to park overnight. Anyway, I'm going on a, on a tangent there, but it just really drives me mad because it's just so irresponsible. Uh, and yeah, okay. Um, so yes, that is for uh, cases where you are in the wilderness. Just dig a hole, do your business, and then live as clean as you found it, basically. Lastly is uh, an option, or. Oh. A solution for when you have an emergency and either there's no public toilets around you uh, maybe they're closed or you are in a urban area where it's more residential and there's no public toilet or you know you name it you have to go and there's nowhere you can go um, poop in a bag and I know you might have heard of this already from other vanners and um, I don't nobody wants to talk about it because obviously it's not very glamorous uh, but yes yeah, sometimes you have to go and there's nowhere you want you can go so you might have to poop in a bag which is not the most pleasant experience but it's not the worst neither like some public toilets are definitely worse than that uh, so all you do is you just put one or really two uh, bags onto something you can use a bowl or like a bucket or whatever you have uh, in hand you should probably have like an emergency bowl or whatever you want to use that you use just for that you don't want to use that for anything else um, and you just line it and you do your business and then you dispose of it and um, a lot of you will think and I'm prepared to receive a lot of hate and disgust from this video but it's the reality of it so go ahead um, a lot of you will think that it's very disgusting and that why would you do that and like yeah basically it's disgusting and yeah i mean poop is not particularly uh nice <laughs> it is disgusting by default um and um if you think about it uh yes you would have to dispose it in just a, a bin which is what you would do with dog poop and also nappy which is basically poop and if you think about it when you poop when you do number twos, I'm trying to say poop, although this video is about poop. Uh, <laughs> if you do use just a normal toilet, you are most likely, 99% likely, uh, to poop on clean portable water, which that is disgusting if you think about it. Uh, and of course, I'm not saying that pooping in a bag is better or worse than having using a normal toilet, but I'm just saying think about your own habits before you point your fingers to others and um, I'm not saying that doing this is a substitute in any way by normal sanitization I mean sanitation is there for a reason and uh, without it we will be in big troubles I'm just saying sometimes it does happen that you need to go and uh, you don't have a toilet and that's what happens and I'll say it doesn't happen very often I mean it depends on you and how well you organize and how you know how how do you say that how predictable are your bubble movements because if you know you usually go in the morning then you can be somewhere where there's a toilet in the morning you can kind of plan it ahead while if you're more one that uh, doesn't quite know when it's gonna happen or it happens a few times a day then it's gonna be a little bit harder for you for me I kind of know what's happening so I'm usually next to either a toilet or I'm most likely in the wilderness and I can have already seen a tree or something in the distance where I think that can go and also one last thing before I go um, is that a lot of you will think this is so like, I don't want to go into the trouble of thinking about this every day. It's like such a hassle. I, hello. Uh, I don't want to, you know, think about it and like struggle and where to find. And that's totally fine. It's totally understandable. I mean, that's why people have bathrooms in their house and they're not outside as they used to be. Now there's like everything we used to have it close to us and easy and everything is comfortable everything is like we don't even see where the waste goes we just do it and then poof it's gone who knows where it's gone and it's totally understandable you don't want to deal with it uh, and if that's what you choose that's fine I choose and a lot of people choose to adventure and uh, see places and uh, travel and if that's the 
you know, the downside of it, then I'm ex I'm accepting it and it's part of it. Uh, if it's not something that you can deal with, then, I mean, obviously you can get a toilet in your, in your van, but then there's the whole thing about emptying the toilet, which is just, uh, but yes, this is the last thing I wanted to mention. Um, and yes, I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, hearing me talk awkwardly about bowel movements and human waste. And <laughs> I will see you very soon in another video. Bye-bye.